Alright everyone, another random video here from myself. I think I'm gonna change, I'm gonna start using a keyword on my um, YouTube and it's gonna be format poor man with a rich man's philosophy or poor man living like a rich man or I don't know whichever one I'm gonna have a, a, a thing about it but the purpose of this video I just want to ask a question the rich or rich people always say never invest more than you can afford to lose which makes it sound almost like gambling and I've been pondering I've been pondering over this and when you say it's like saying never gamble more than you can afford to lose but I know for sure that investing is not the same as gambling it might have some elements of it but it's not the same so that prompted me to start thinking when this because I, I, I'm working on a model where I don't have savings okay I have credit card okay that I'm not using so I'm, that's gonna be like my emergency fund might be a bad idea I don't know all these things I'm still experimenting and discovering as I go along but I don't have savings in cash the vast majority of what I make is going into investing in stocks uh, selling options either put options, call options, form and cover call or lips or whichever one and of course I can't afford to lose all that money the hard earned money I'm on my round now doing the Uber, Uber delivery just finished my 9 to 5 work it's um, half 6 and I'm doing my Uber runs right now so if they're saying do not invest more than you can afford to lose it means there's a chance you could lose everything but this is what I think it means there's a chance you can lose everything if you don't know what you're doing because as far as investing is concerned that I've come to realize you can always hedge against losses or against massive losses in gambling I don't think you can hedge and I think that's where the difference is control in investing you have some control maybe not a hundred percent but you have some control but in gambling you have absolutely no control once you place your lots that's it it's pretty much in the hands of fate then so when they say do not invest more than you can afford to lose I think it's giving people the wrong impression about investments and that's why most people don't want to invest because they don't want to lose that money but here's the thing and here's the catch people like Ray Dalio people like I'm sorry if the color is changing uh, if the light intensity is changing because I'm just driving and it's a bit cloudy people like Ray Dalio of uh, Bridgewater people like Warren Buffet and uh, you, all these all these guys you cannot tell me that they can afford to lose all the millions and billions that they have in the stock market although they're very diversified I'm sure they have uh, um, businesses and real estate and whatnot but I am heavily I can bet a hundred percent that they are not willing uh, to lose a hundred uh, everything they have in the stock market I don't think anybody wants to some people do when they don't know how to hedge but I think the millionaires and billionaires don't you don't get to lose everything in the stock market they can say yeah the recession came and we got wiped out and whatnot but you can't tell me you lost everything you know you might you might lose a good percentage of it but you didn't lose everything so when you bring the matter of investing to people and they say why don't you invest the first thing at the back of they might not say it but the first thing at the back of their mind is I don't want to lose that money and this is what puts people off investing as far as I can tell this is what puts people off investing because there's first, first there's the element of I'm denying myself of what I want to do with the money now to use for later or to yeah to use for later but there is no guarantee or assurance that that money will be there for me later if the mar market you know turns against me then I'll lose a huge chunk of it or I'll lose most of it and this and I think that's due to lack of education 
and this is what gets people or what tips people off um, investing. As far as I can tell, this is what I've come up with. If you have another answer, uh, feel free to share it on the in the comments below. Again, if you're following me, thank you. If you're not following, that's all right. Just you know, I'm not looking for likes or thumbs up or views or whatever. I'm just putting this up as a journal to hold myself accountable, put my thought process out there, and I'll be referring to it in a few years' time and watching myself and laughing like, ah, look at the way I was. I remember when I started. I need to get my hair shaved. Jeez, I'm like a caveman now. I need to get my hair shaved. I'm shooting on Monday, The Dry, the TV series, eight episode series. It's called The Dry. And I'm shooting on Monday and Thursday next week. So wish me luck. And uh, it's about five, six minutes now, and I'll leave it here for now. Thank you.